Welcome to this video about inequalities and uh, linear programming. And this question was asked by one of you, one of my students around the world. Um, so it's important to say that this is not my question. I did not create it. So give credit and say thanks to uh, Cambridge examinations, okay? We are just here together as students, as learners, trying to help each other uh, solving this uh, question from uh, Cambridge. Okay, let's have a go. It says... Peter wants to plant X plum trees and Y apple trees. So let me already put a little box around that. So the plum trees are X, oh, I hope you can still see that. And the apple trees are represented by the letter Y. Okay, it continues. He wants at least three plum trees and at least two apple trees. And that word at least gonna be important in a minute. Three plum trees, and that is the X, and at least two apple trees, which was letter Y. Okay, write down one inequality in X and one inequality in Y to represent these conditions. Yeah, so for two points, I gotta give two inequalities, yeah? one point each. Okay, so let's have a go. So the first one, if we're talking about the plum trees, and we said that that is gonna be represented by the letter X, at least three Plum trees means three or four or five or a thousand two hundred plum trees. That's all is good. So the amount of plum trees needs to be bigger or equal to three. Yeah, that is what the words or the phrase at least means. Yeah, bigger or equal. So three uh, plum trees is still acceptable or more. Yeah, so two plum trees, one or zero, that would not be good. Yeah, bigger or equal to three. At least two apple trees, yeah, that becomes then, uh, yeah, relatively easy. And then Y, yeah, the apple trees, needs to be bigger or equal to two. Okay, so take some care uh, to understand those signs of the inequalities, yeah, because then you are in control of the question and you can feel confident about yourself. We continue. There is space on this land for no more than nine trees. Okay, no more than nine trees. So 10 trees wouldn't fit, it's just too small, yeah? So nine is okay, or eight, or seven, or six, or one tree, that's all fine. Write down an inequality in X and Y to represent this condition. So now we're talking about a one point question. So one inequality in X and Y, okay? so. The plum trees and the apple trees together, so the amount of trees, needs to be smaller or equal to 9. That is the answer, yeah? The amount of trees cannot be more than 9. So 9 is good, but 10 or 11 or 12 wouldn't fit. So less than 9 would be fine as well, so smaller or equal to 9. Excellent. The last question here, plum trees are $6 and apple trees $14. Peter wants to spend no more than $84, okay? So $84 is fine or less. Write down the inequality in X and Y and show that it simplifies to 3X plus 7Y is smaller or equal to 42. So basically they give you the answer and you gotta show that that is true. So what is happening? So six dollars for a plum tree. So six times x plus fourteen dollars for an apple tree. That's not expensive, by the way. But okay, fourteen y. That would be the amount of money he will have to pay. Yeah, six dollars times every plum tree plus fourteen dollars times every apple tree, and that has to be smaller or equal to 84, yeah? So the total amount of money uh, Peter, was it Peter, right? Yeah, Peter. The total amount of money Peter wants to spend has to be smaller or equal to 84. Okay, show that it simplifies to this inequality. So is there a common factor that has been taken out, yeah? So six divided by two is three, 14 divided by two is seven, and 84 indeed divided by two is 42. So you could say like, okay, divide by two is gonna give me three X plus seven Y smaller or equal to 42, okay? And, um, that is that. Okay, now let's go to the next video where we are going to graph these inequalities and gonna say something about the maximum number of trees or no, uh, the amount of 
money he has to pay or whatever, yeah? But anyway, the, the linear programming questions, okay? So go to the next video where you will be asking uh, those types of questions. Like and share this video, please, if it was useful. And go to my website, explainingmaths.com, and you can ask me your question, if you have any. You will also find more free resources there. I also have a Facebook page where you can ask me your questions, and you can find me on Twitter. All right, I wish you a very pleasant day. Bye-bye.